Hey everyone, I originally made a 46 minute rant about the whole schmooey situation because uh, I had a lot to say, right? But it kind of went off track from what I had originally intended, so I'm redoing it. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, first, I don't want to talk too much about my own experience, right? Because honestly, compared to other people, I was not affected that badly. Like, I went through my own stuff, you know, we all did, but I'm fine, move on, whatever. Uh, what I will say though, I mean, it, this kind of has to do with it, right? Like, uh, what I'm really trying to say is that I posted this on my Twitter. You can be grateful that someone apologized, right? And not forgive them. And for me, that's what I'm doing. Because, honestly, it's not my place to forgive Shmooey. Um, I, don't, I don't think he... I'll make this very clear. I don't think he uh, should be let back in the community either way. He has proven that he cannot handle having a platform. Um, he should not be given one. He cannot have a platform in this community uh, ever again. Um, whether or not people will forgive him is not up to me. Uh, it is not my place to forgive him because other people like... Mammonocalypse, Ghost Force, Jeff, you get the point. Other people have been affected far more severely than I have. Uh, so really, it's not my place to forgive uh, Shmui for any of this. So I'm not going to. I don't think anyone else should be really. Um, if you are not involved in the situation, it is not your place to forgive someone. You can have your opinions on the person whatever but if the bad thing didn't happen to you it, just stay out of it okay okay <laughs> so um what i'm really here to talk about right is the gameplay implications because this is something that we can analyze from a more objective standpoint right now, I'm someone who cares a lot about the history of the game. So in my opinion, the best thing for Shmooey to do, right? Because people are going to be making videos about this, right? Um, Etienne might make a video. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Uh, Carl Jobs is making a video. Um, I imagine other people down the line will be making videos about this. Uh, this is the biggest rhythm gaming scandal ever, basically one of the biggest gaming scandals in general of all time. Uh, there will be lots and lots of documentation made about it. And for account both accountability purposes, uh, accountability is good. It is something I value a lot. Um, for both accountability purposes and documentation purposes, right? I believe the videos should be available in some form. I think unlisting them would be the best move because new people who get Shmooey's videos in their recommended uh, new people don't need to be seeing these videos right without context they don't they Shmooey doesn't need to be making ad revenue off these videos uh, nobody needs to be seeing these videos unless they are actively interested in the game's history right because even if they're fake right these videos are an important part of the game's history, right? And ultimately, Shmooey's legacy uh, will be determined by these videos. These videos are the proof of his wrongdoing, and they should stay up in some form. Like I said, unlisting them would be best. Um, changing the titles and descriptions uh, uh, to accurately reflect that they are indeed fake accomplishments uh, would be best um, that's just my thoughts I mean I'm sure people will disagree with me especially uh, regarding Shmutaj 2 and the guest appearances that's something that is controversial um, and honestly I can I can see why people would want that taken down um, but 
I think for the history of this game, I think most, if not all, of these videos should be remaining up in some form. Um, in terms of charts, Shmui has made a lot of charts. I don't see the harm in people playing these charts. I mean, Ian's going for rep in pairs and would never stop, and I hope he gets them um, because obviously the accomplishments originally were fake and obviously there's that negative connotation because Shmui made them but ultimately um, once again for the game's history these are important charts and they should be preserved in some form um, it would be nice to have genuine accomplishments uh, for them to be first ever because they are really impressive really impressive accomplishments um, my final point, really, uh, this is a lot shorter than my original video. My final point, really, is that I feel like a lot of uh, Shmui's accomplishments are going to be massively underrated. The fake accomplishments, obviously. I hope people aren't going to be too pedantic in the comments every time I say Shmui's accomplishments. Uh, yes, I'm aware that they are fake. Thank you. Um, but... I think, uh, I mean, okay, think about it this way. He got basically every grind of his effortlessly, right? Like, he might he might upload a progress video, like, there was a drop uh, uploaded of Black Rascal, there was um, the DSM score or note miss videos, DSM minus nine, the endless DSM video. Um... There was a few other instances of this uh, on his third and fourth channels, because he had four of them. I think he actually had five at one point. Um, essentially, right, like, he got all of these grinds effortlessly, and I think that really reflected on how we perceive them. Stuff like Soul is Six. Jared spent months and months on Solus 6 to originally FC it. Ian is currently spending months on Solus 6 to FC it. Shmui got Solus 6 in like two days. It was out of nowhere, basically. And I think uh, that has a large impact on how we perceive the accomplishment. I think Solus 6 is massively underrated. I feel like when Ian, or anyone else really, FC's ripened pairs would never stop, empty bed, I feel like all these accomplishments are going to be massively underrated, just because we perceived them to be not effortless, but like our perception of uh, Shmui's skill was just entirely warped he had some questionable opinions as well uh the two that come to mind are archwix hell under solus six and geometry under obsidian those are the two i saw get mentioned uh i know a lot of people also thought that his strumming accomplishments were a bit overrated uh compared to his tapping and technical accomplishments um so that is something to consider also. Um, really, our entire perception of skill in this game is just so weird now. I feel like all the accomplishments that he got effortlessly. Uh, this is one that I uh, mentioned earlier. Ultimate Zoidberg. When Ultimate Zoidberg released, it was regarded as one of the hardest possible charts in existence. Archwick's tech of this was mind-blowing. And then Shmui got it like a week later. And just because of that, everyone kind of forgot about it. But then Ian, months later, does this legitimately. A legitimate ultimate Zoidberg tech. Or not, not a tech, an FC. A legitimate ultimate Zoidberg FC. Just 
to comprehend that is so weird because in FC they got written off as being easy uh, in comparison to his other FCs because he got it so quickly and didn't even make a big deal about it is now one of the legitimate best accomplishments of all time and I feel like people aren't even taking that into consideration Ultimate Zoidberg is a ludicrous FC that has been done legitimately and I'm sure there are dozens of other instances of this so uh, I'm getting to the end of my points here right uh, so all I want to say really is that uh, I hope we as a community can move on from this right I don't want to see any more bad stuff happen from this um, I think we should be careful uh, with who we accuse of cheating right I think even Shmooey's accomplishments should be checked and double checked maybe even triple checked we need to make sure that our metrics for determining which FCs are fake or not are 100% accurate because if any legitimate FCs are suspected due to our methods being faulty that would be very bad and we really don't need everyone to be suspicious of each other right we need to trust each other I know that's hard to do after everything that's happened but we need to trust each other for this community to thrive and function we will not be able to exist as a community if everyone is constantly suspicious of each other so I'm not saying we shouldn't be skeptical there is a degree of skepticalness that is necessary I think we should be more skeptical than we have in the past I think if concerns are brought up they should be handled uh, professionally they should be taken seriously and once again we should check and double check and triple check and make sure that what we are saying is accurate and truthful that way like I said I don't want any more harm to come of this situation obviously people it, it, it's gonna be hard for us to trust each other right it's not gonna be easy but we have to do it we have to learn to trust each other again for this community to be okay so to end this on a more positive note I want to look at what the community has accomplished right I brought up ultimate Zoidberg I uh, in the past like two days since this uh, video has come out Ian has got in like half a dozen shmooey accomplishments legitimately which is mind-blowing it's ludicrous to see his progression it's actually like some of them have been one upped too luck na accurate 110 10 faster than shmooey's fc okay cool um So yeah, uh, this community, we will move on. Uh, top players, I mean, I, I hope everyone gets treated with the respect they deserve. Um, I think it's pretty unanimous that Frith is in the number one spot again. He has the top three accomplishments at the moment, as well as number six, arguably. Um, I don't think there's any question there. Uh, Jared is up there as well. Ian, Ornej, although there's controversy around that. Ornej, uh, and then tons of like people who aren't top five, but like Dawson, Thonk, um, Explorer, Theria, people like this who have kind of flown under the radar in the grand scheme of things. I hope that everyone gets the attention they deserve because really, we're not as far behind as we thought. I made a list of every single Shmooey accomplishment to see which ones had been matched and which ones had not been matched, and I was impressed by how many FCs this community has managed to match. We have been keeping up with 
a player who has faked accomplishments for two years. We have kept up, we have one-upped him in certain instances, and we will continue to do so. This community, we will move on, we will do better. This year, this year is going to be good. I, I will mention that the top five accomplishments at the moment, discarding Shmui's uh, fake accomplishments, right? The top five accomplishments at the moment are Megalodon, which was done in 2021. Triathlon, which was done in 2021. PC Player Quiz, which was done in 2021. Solus 6, which was done in 2021. And I might be wrong on this, but I believe Mega Wub Wub 125, done in 2021. That's the top five. The top five was done last year. Even with the demotivation that came from watching someone soar high above us, we have managed to improve and one-up ourselves, and we will continue to do so. We will reach and we will attain those accomplishments that we would not have thought possible before. Ian is close to ripen pears. He's close to would never stop. Jared's close to supernovae. Ian's also close to supernovae. Like, we will get this stuff. It's going to be good. This year is going to be good. We had a rough start, but this is a brand new start. This is a new era in Clone Hero, right? And it's going to be good. We're going to we're going to do so much stuff that we would not have thought possible. There will be new accomplishments. New accomplishments. We won't exclusively be following in Shmui's footsteps. We will forge new accomplishments of our own that Shmui had not even managed to fake. Perhaps one day chasing comets will be done by someone legitimately. Perhaps Star Maker could be done legitimately someday. Perhaps new charts will be made that surpass any of the charts Shmui has made. The future is ours for the taking. We can do anything that we put our minds to. I swear, there is not a single FC that Shmui did that we are not capable of. We will get this and it's going to be good. So, to end that on a positive note, that's really all I have to say. Um, I am super proud of this community, despite everything. Despite all the bad that has happened, I am so proud. And this year is only going to get better from here. So with that said, see you later.